Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. We are live at Terre Haute North, the host side of the 2019 First Financial Wabash Valley Classic, where teams try to win four games in four days and cut down the Nets on championship night. A familiar face is up first on day number one. Let's take you the highlights and check it out. Game one of the first financial Wabash Valley Classic featuring Terre Haute North and Edgewood. Second half, Patriots leading by four. They move the ball around to Noah Crosley, who finished with 18 points. Count the three. North leads it by seven. That lead would grow to 12 as Makai Johnson touches the ball in the post and goes up for two more. North up 32 to 21. However, Edgewood comes charging back. Derek Farkas finishes here. It's a one-point game, 32 to 31. Moments later, it's Farkas again going to the hoop with the acrobatic finish. We are tied up at 33, but the Patriots would answer. It's Crosley from downtown, another three-pointer as North beats Edgewood, 45 to 38, the final. Game two, Robinson squared off with South Vermillion. First quarter, Bryce Gilman for two. He finished with 16 points. Wildcats lead it by three at the halftime break. Late in this game, Maroons with the ball. It's Wesley Jackson over to Braden Childers. He is pumped. Maroons on top, 44 to 43. At the other end, Wildcats kick it around. Eventually, it's Anthony Garzolini with the bucket. South V leads it 45 to 44. After two Wildcat free throws, Coach Mac Thompson and Sean Neville using all of their timeouts at the end. And here it is, Braden Childress gets a good look at the end. He finished with 16 points, but this shot is no good as Southie hangs on to win 47-44, the final. Game of the day, two undefeated teams, Sullivan and Marshall battling. Sullivan led at the half. Caleb Thrasher keeps possession of this loose ball here. He had 12 points for the Arrows. Marshall would answer back, though. It's Jaden Wallace. Nice move here. The Lions trim it down 36 to 28. On the other end, Sullivan's Christian Simpson. 40 to 32 arrows staying ahead. There's a familiar face here at the Classic today. Tommy Mack watching this one. The guy with the most points in this game, though, was Marshall's Daniel Tengley. Great move from the junior. He was not done. Next possession, he attacks again with the spin move. Are you kidding me? Marshall within four. But Sullivan's Randy Kelly had 12 points himself. He gets it to Jackson Shake. That's a big one, 47 to 42 arrows. More for Mr. Tingley here, scoring at will in the fourth. Cuts the deficit down to two. And next possession here ties the game at 49. What an effort from him. But Sullivan using some good passing and rebounding. Simpson knocks it down, and the arrows stay undefeated. 55 to 52 the final. First loss of the year for the Marshall Lions. Game four, Northview squaring off with Park Heritage. Second quarter, Knights on the move. It's Cade Bryan hitting Caleb Swearingen for the bucket. The Knights lead it 18 to 10. The Wolves on the move after that. It's Connor Davis finding Logan White for two, but Park trailed by eight at the halftime break. Fourth quarter, Wolves up by one, but Northview cranks up the defense. Park then tries the long three. That's no good. Rebound by Northview's Caleb Swearingen. He scores. Knights up 40 to 39. Davis gets a late two for Park, but Swearingen finished with 19 points as the Knights get the win, 45 to 41, your final. So Sullivan and Northview get a rematch tomorrow. Sullivan won at Northview in the WIC game a couple of weeks ago. Another winner's bracket game tomorrow featuring Terre Haute North and South Vermillion. Tonight at 11 right here on WTW. We'll recap the entire first day, including Terre Haute South taking care of business and how the Linton Miners do. Big one against Shackamack tonight. Reporting live from North, Grant Pugh, WTWO Sports.